everyone let's provide the solution to this problem x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2 equals 90 so what do i do x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2 minus 90 equals 0. now the next thing i'm going to do is making sure that 90 here is expressed in the form of this okay um okay i know what to do we have x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2 this 90 i can write it as 81 plus 9 and this is equal to 0 open the bracket we have 8 to the power of 4 x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2 minus 81 minus 9 this is equal to 0 remember 81 minus 9 will still give us minus 90 to continue with this we have x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of 2 now this 81 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 4 while 9 is the same as 3 to the power of 2 and this is equal to 0 now we can compare what we have on the right i mean what we have here and what we have over there but then we have to solve this completely right so let's do this we're going to bring this and this together and this and this together so x to the power of 4 minus 3 to the power of 4 then plus x to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2 we will deal with this separately and deal with this separately and this is equal to zero so from here what can we do um this is what we're going to do we're going to break this down right so that we get um, x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 then minus 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 okay so this is what we have and then on this side we have um, plus from bracket x to the power of 2 minus x to the power okay it's 3 minus 3 to the power of 2 equal to 0 now we can apply difference of two squares we're going to apply it here and we shall apply it here as well so for this our difference of two squares is going to be x to the power of 2 plus by the way this is going to give us 9 so we can simply have our 9 or better still let's leave it as 3 let's leave it as um, 3 to the power of 2 right we have this and then in the second bracket it's going to be x to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2 this is the difference of two squares for this because both of them are carrying squares then plus on the other hand i'm going to have x to the power of 2 okay there's no need for the power again because we're using difference of two squares this is positive 3 and then in the second bracket we have x minus 3 and this is equal to 0 so from here what can we do we are still going to apply difference of two squares here but mind you this is x to the power of 2 plus 9 in this bracket and in the second bracket we have um, x squared minus 3 to the power of 2 close this then plus open bracket x plus 3 into x minus 3 and this is equal to 0 now we want to continue what do i do from here i'm going to apply difference of two squares I'm going to apply um difference of two squares here so that x squared plus 9 is out and then in here again we have x minus 3 right into 
x plus 3. So this is the difference of two squares for what we have over here. Then plus we have x plus 3 for this into x minus 3. And this is equal to 0. Now look at what I'm going to do. We now have x. We now have x minus 3 here. And we have x minus 3 here. So I'm going to bring it out. And we also have x plus 3. And we have x plus 3, right? So the whole of this is going to come out as the common factor. So what will be our common factor? x minus 3 into x plus 3. This is the common factor. Then in here, I will have x squared plus 9. Then plus the whole of this has come out. So we are going to have 1 close this and this is equal to 0 this is interesting now we have x minus 3 into x plus 3 then into x plus 9 plus this will give us 10 sorry this is x squared right plus 10 close this and this is equal to 0 now what should i do from here remember that this is difference of two squares right so i can combine these two terms if i open this bracket i'm going to have x squared minus 9 so this is what it will give because of the difference of two squares then in this we have x squared plus 10 close this and the whole of this is equal to zero now we can apply our difference um zero product rule so that x squared minus 9 equals zero or x squared plus 10 equals 0 equals 0 x squared is equal to 9 or x squared is equal to minus 10 okay now from here x will be equal to positive or negative square root of 9 or on this side x is equal to positive or negative square root of negative 10 remember we have to solve this completely right so from here x is equal to plus or minus square root of 9 is 3 or on this side x is equal to plus or minus square root of 10 multiplied by i because of the negative now let's continue from here Thanks.